Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie. Welcome back to another DIY on a budget. In today's video, we are making over the laundry room. As you guys can see, this is a small laundry room. It's not big at all. I don't mind it being this small. Some people like having a big laundry room and some don't. And I'm one of those people who doesn't really care about the size of the laundry room. It was not my main priority when looking for my home. Now, my husband did offer to extend it for me because I do have room to make it bigger if I wanted to. I told him no. Um, I like it just the way it is. I'm fine with it. I didn't want to take away from the other rooms. But in the future, I do want to stack the washer and dryer on top of each other. I also want to have like a built-in and add some cabinets for storage. So for now, I just want to make it look pretty and decent enough to make me want to walk in and do some laundry. And so far it's been working. Since the room is small, I chose to paint it white to brighten up the room and to make it appear bigger. The light fixture is not new, I went through this phase where I wanted a chandelier in my laundry room and now I'm kind of over it, but I'm not replacing the chandelier and after painting the room white, I kind of like it. Right now, my husband is getting ready to paint the ceiling. This was a last minute decision. After painting the whole room white, the ceiling looked off. It looked like it was like it had like this off white color. It didn't match the wall, so we decided to paint it. A couple of years ago, I saw this pedestal on Pinterest and I thought it was a good idea, so I asked my husband to build it for me. As the years went by, for some reason, it started turning yellow and my husband told me it was the clear coat that he had applied on there, so he's giving it a nice fresh coat of white paint for me. Now let's address this labeling problem. I purchased these labels from Amazon and for some reason it won't go on there smoothly. We've tried everything. I'm not new to adding labels to my containers. I've done this plenty of time. I think it's the material, so I'm over it. I'm going to be removing them off of all of my containers.
right now I'm showing you another option I came up with. These are some leftover labels from another project. I'm going to be adding them underneath the bottle so I know what product is inside each container. First time I saw you, I knew all the time it was something in the air the night and in the way you looked at me i get nervous when you get close and my heart fills up with butterflies and then you leave me speechless my world turned upside down That you won't go and break my heart, break my heart, don't break it now. Remember, it's the only one I've got, the one I've got, don't break my heart. I've got the one I've got Don't break my heart 